Good morning and welcome to our update here in Force 13 about Hurricane Genevieve, our second hurricane in the season in the Eastern Pacific and could possibly become as well our second major hurricane and it's going to be a significant one as well. Right now Genevieve is located in the coordinates 14.3 degrees north, 103.0 degrees west, about 250 miles south southwest of Cihuatanejo in Mexico and 745 miles per hour southeast of the southern tip of Baja California. Right now is moving to the northwest at 18 miles per hour with sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure of 991 millibars on our latest estimate. And you can see the, our projected forecast possibly by tomorrow in, at this hour we could, uh, we could be talking about major hurricane Genevieve and a very significant one, significant one, almost a category 4 hurricane and of course peaking in the next 36 to 48 hours possibly there with 145 miles per hour sustained winds when of course the, the storm surge could be a significant threat for the people who are living in the coast of Baja California Sur and many parts of the states of Nayarit and Sonora principally so of course we are going to be keeping updated with you so please don't miss out and well we are watching the progression of Hurricane Genevieve a, a very organized of course a very very intense thunderstorm activities in the rain bands of Genevieve who are currently giving the strength and all the energy that Genevieve needs to to intensify further and of course you can see the visible satellite imagery how impressive it's looking and you can see a very significant sign of rapid intensification the center of the storm is wrapping itself it's getting all its act together and possibly we are going to see a developing of a visible eye probably today in the afternoon or today in the night so of course Genevieve is intensifying really quickly and probably by today in the, in the evening or tomorrow in the morning we are going to talk about major hurricane Genevieve. Some rain bands are affecting the states of Guerrero and Jalisco right now. And the progression of Genevieve by different models are predicting practically the same thing. In the, in the next 40, uh, 24 to 48 hours there's not too much by variety of how far it's going to move. It's practically going to keep it moving to the northwest and uh, and the and the projected uh, track of Genevieve is going to keep the same in, until it, until the end of its life. So practically, there's nothing to uh, to say about here. That well, it's going to be a consistent uh, forecast. So by this, is going to be good news to to know which in which direction Genevieve will move. And this is a graphic very interesting to see about the probabilities of tropical storm force winds in, uh, in the next days and we can see that possibly there are 5 to 10 percent of chances to see tropical storm force winds in the state, in the state of Nayarit principally because Genevieve is going to, to be passing there and its closest points to the, to the west coast of Mexico. But when, uh, when Genevieve gets near there, when it's a category 4 hurricane as expected, there are between 40 to 50 percent chance of tropical storm force winds in Los Cabos, principally in Los Cabos, in Baja California Sur. Sorry. So it's something important to, to see and to analyze because of course uh, it's, so, it's something that really could be a, th a significant threat for the people and of course the storm surge is going to be as well something in particular to, to put attention on, so please stay tuned. And about the sea surface temperatures between 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, it's very warm, completely favorable to intensify further, really rapid intensification we are watching of this tropical, uh, tropical cyclone, Genevieve is a category 1 hurricane right now and is expected to become a category 4 probably by tomorrow in the night. 
and the and the wind shear levels are pretty low as well which explains why Genevieve is intensifying quickly and the wind shears and the wind shear levels are are still very low on its path so practically has everything to become a significant hurricane in the next hours so thank you very much people to keep updating with us in 413 and of course in the next hours we are going to see our Spanish update of Hurricane Genevieve by Alan Weitzner in the afternoon. See you later and thank you very much. You can follow 413's outlets, the website 413.com. You can also find our YouTube channel, if you are not there already, you may well be. Good chance of that, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search 413 all in text and our Twitter handle is at 413 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash 413 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show 413's colors wherever you go. And you can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.